Welcome back everybody and hello to every single new visitor, it's your favorite German potato. You asked me about the best dirt racing cars in Forza Horizon 4 and well guys here's our first list, our first very very important insight for you. These are the best S1 class cars for off-road racing, for rally racing. Let's go! And whoa, why is this Nomad shaking? And what's going on with the wheel here? Like always, every single tune which I'm using in this video is uploaded to my storefront and you can find it in the setup spreadsheet, which you can find in the description of the video, so definitely try them out. Our first pick for the list. Our first S1 dirt racing car is this amazing aerial Nomad, guys. Um, it's an acceleration beast and it's a handful to drive, but it's crazy good. It's part of the off-road buggies class and it only has 6.4 handling, but 9.5 acceleration and 10 launch. And check this guys, 506 kW which means 690 HP and it only weighs 611 kg. So it's such a light car, that's why it's so beastly. Let me show you. Okay guys, the beginning will be a little problem for my Nomad since, well, it doesn't like tarmac, it doesn't like asphalt, as you can see. <laughs> yes, that's the biggest problem guys, but now the car can shine. Now the car can shine, hunting HJ in his RS200. And well, you can already see the pure acceleration of this car. Mimi. Take a look at it, guys. <laughs> but yeah, 6.4 handling only. But it actually handles pretty well, even if it's only 6.4. So the stats definitely lie here. But like I already said, guys, you can only use this car on dirt tracks. Even if there's a dirt track with like 50% asphalt, tarmac, whatever, uh, you're going to die. The car it doesn't like it at all. But yeah, you see how beastly this car is, guys. It only weighs 600 kilogram. That's that's nothing, and still has something like 500 kW. Oh, tarmac. Okay, we're done with tarmac. <laughs> that's nice. 63% are over. Okay, and now, guys, the last 10%. But they're on tarmac again. And we're sliding here. But yes. That's already it, winning the first race with no competition. And you know those races actually are good, the guys who are racing me all the time. The Amble Side Scramble, guys, a very, very tiny dirt racing track, but it's dirt only, so that's why it actually fits to the car. I don't really know how the tiny corner fit to the car, but it should be, yeah, shouldn't be much of a big problem since, well, it's just a beast regarding the acceleration, which you've already seen. But let me tell you guys, it's a handful to drive. It's a handful to drive. You definitely need some throttle control in this one. It's, it's not like, yeah, 0-100, like no throttle and then full throttle. So you also need some, yeah, some, yeah, you need a good uh, throttle finger. That, let's put it this way. Oh, Rio definitely had a better line here. Oh, he's back in his bowler. Let me also tell you, the bowler is one of the best ones as well. Like, not, yeah, not the best, not in the top three though. But definitely, if you're searching for it, top 5, top 10, then the Bowler is also a very, very good choice. Oh, getting crashed by Rio here. Oh, he also crashed himself, it seems. Maybe he was just waiting. <laughs> okay, after I found my speed, I was actually getting away from Rio pretty yeah, easily. I could definitely be your limo driver if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Seriously, Johnson? A Viper on the list for the best S1 dirt racing cars? Yeah, it's pretty awesome actually. In my best S1 class cars video, which you can find in the info card right now, I've already told you how OP this Viper is on normal tracks. But it's also really, really great when we talk about dirt racing, especially on those mixed tracks, you know, when you have 50% tarmac and 50% dirt. Most of the time in online adventures, for example, you don't know which kind of track you get. So the Viper is always a very, very safe choice. The stats are actually pretty much the same like in the normal S1 video. 9.5 handling, 10 acceleration, 10 launch, 9.7 braking with 542 kW and 1425 kg. Let's race it. Starting in the middle of the pack in this race in my Viper 08, in my Rally Viper, my dirt racing Viper. Um, also featuring both dirt and road. Nope. But, oh. Deadly tadpole, why? Okay, so let's get closer. Okay, breaking, yeah, spot on here. Oh God, this is not ending well. Okay, we got, what's doing again? Escort driver in front of us doing. <laughs> Swerving all over the place. Josh in the lead. 
Okay, so here we go, guys. Here we go. Ryo saying, my bad. Oh, what happened there already again? What happened there again? So as you can see, oh, I should actually top out this Hoonigan Escort. And yes, I'm doing it. He's probably using our tune, my tune. Uh, so guys, if you want to check out the Hoonigan Escort, definitely check out the best Winter Cars video. Oh no, great Winter Cars video. It's in um, the info card now. Well, I'm just getting closer to the lead. Take a look at it, guys. The car is so is shining so much on asphalt. So I'm on Grandma's inside now. Oh, probably bumping him here a bit. Grandma, I'm so sorry. I hope you still love me. I hope you still love me. So that's probably the... That makes it the best dirt all-around car, maybe? Because you've got so many tracks here in the game, which I call dirt, but most of the time you're actually racing on tarmac. And this car is working so amazingly. This car is working so amazingly on tarmac, even if you have um, the rally tires and yeah, the rally springs and dampers, as you can see. I was catching up so much in the race now. Rio, come on. We can do it, Rio. Let's have a great race here. Oh God. Oh, he's blocking me. Bye, have a and great now, time. Well, now my car is just so slow after accelerating. Oh no. That's the problem in this game, guys, to overtake other people. But yeah, this car is a beast on the straight. But you've seen before, on normal tarmac roads, well, it definitely sucks. Oh no. But now... But now we are on the dirt again, and this car is definitely great as well. And well, I'm just um, crashing this fence. <laughs> oh god, no, jumping here. Okay, Viper, come on. So yeah, from second to last, I think, and in, uh, in the beginning to second, and I probably had the pace to win this race, but yeah, when he was blocking me there, that was totally unfair, Rio. You're banned. Also, many thanks to Mr. GTZ Marple for helping me with the tunes and yeah, helping me to find the cars for those videos. You're awesome. This big, this heavy Jeep Trail Kit is our third pick for the best S1 dirt racing cars list, since yeah, it's actually really really easy to handle it's a great car for beginners in my opinion and eventually it's yeah just almost as good as the aerial nomad which you've seen in the beginning of the video this extreme off-road car features 6.9 handling 10 acceleration 10 launch and it got 954 kw so 1300 hp for a dirt racing car but also weighs 1600 kilogram Almost as much as Marple. Ooh, I think I've made this joke before. Let's race it. Welcome to some Jeep action in my Jeep trail kit, guys. This big monster weighs 1,500 kilograms. I got a bad kilogram. feeling about this. <laughs> Josh got a bad feeling about this. 10 acceleration, guys. It's, it's just a beast. It's a beast. And it got more handling than the Nomad we raced earlier. So, um... Oh, God. But it also has 950kW or something, which uh, which I told you before, and yeah, it's it's just a beast, and uh, it's actually easier to drive than the Nomad we had earlier. So the handling is decent, guys. Uh, 6.9. It's let's say the stats are definitely worse than it's actually handling, like uh, many cars on on dirt races. And yeah, take a look at it. <laughs> um, it's stable. It's fast. It handles well. So from all these cars, um, we've definitely shown you. Uh, we've shown you today. This is definitely the easiest one to drive. And yeah, if you're new to the game, you actually want to try out this car. Now we come to the asphalt part, uh, which is not the best one for this car as well. But also, let me tell you, it works better than the the aerial nomad on tarmac. As you can see, it's not sliding around like uh, it's it's the first time it's seeing uh, to see roads. So it's still decently old. Oh. I mean, it's still understeering a lot, but you won't lose that much. Uh, Paraglide behind me is actually racing the Hoonigan Escort. Oh my god, but the brakes are shit yet. <laughs> but yeah, Paraglide uh, is racing the Hoonigan Escort, and this is way better here. So the Hoonigan, es Hoonigan Escort is your choice, just like um, like the Viper 8 for tracks when you have most of these uh, tarmac parts. And well, that's an easy win. And well guys, that's it for today. I hope it was helpful and I hope you gained some insight in uh, which cars to use in S1 class dirt races. Um, don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I'm uploading new videos. And also, don't forget to tell me in the comment section, 
which other cars are you using in S1 class regarding um, dirt racing? Um, that's very, very important um, information for us as well, since, well, we also want to learn. So, um, yeah, I see you next time.